Hello, welcome. This is a small tutorial on how to use the add loot mod that I have created. Loading it up in uh, the offline mode, another instruction will be made on how you do that. Um, I am now pressing the Y key to uh, spawn a new object. We are going to try this on the land shed. Um, so first I'm going to uh, make that, pop it on the ground. Uh, exit and now uh, I have uh, spawned in a land shed. The reason I spawn it in is that then I'm sure that it has uh, no rotation uh, that it is uh, set to this position but zero zero zero. Now I uh, choose the uh, land shed by pressing the I key. Uh, that uh, makes an indication that it is now selected in the upper corner of the bounding box. A yellow barrel is, uh, is spawned and the shed is now, is now selected. I can then enter the shed. Uh, in here I want to do uh, markers for loot by pressing the P key that will make the loot come on the ground. So I have indicated one, two, uh, three locations. Um, and that's basically it. Now the output of this, uh, in my bat file I'm specified that my profile is called SC. So under the uh, days here, in uh, the SC folder, I have my uh, profiles and in there the file loot underscore pos is generated. If I open this, uh, this should be uh, formatted and uh, ready to go in to uh, the uh, to the group uh, XML file. So I can uh, take this uh, and then to uh, show that it's actually uh, formatted correctly, we can go under missions. Uh, in here, we have the map, map, map group proto XML. This is the file that dictates where standard loot on different objects is uh, spawning. Uh, if I open that file, uh, in Notepad++, I get a structure like this. If I go way to the bottom, uh, you will see that uh, the content I had in my loot underscore post text uh, goes in here, uh, formatted uh, almost correctly. You potentially need to change the usage name uh, if you want it to contain military loot or uh, different types. Also the categories, what uh, types you want here. Sometimes you have to change uh, floor to shelves. If you have both floor and shelves, then you uh, introduce that. Just for your information, because that uh, I found that a little bit challenging, the flag 32 uh, indicates that the loot that spawns on this position will be forced to the ground. If you omit the loot, uh, the flag 32, then the loot will be at the height that is indicated by the height parameter. Uh, that threw me off initially. Then to actually use this, we just have to close out the uh, both the container and the uh, group tag. Uh, and then this is ready to save and now uh, I have substituted the land shed uh, loot uh, category and probably would have to uh, do a uh, search for this uh, in the document finding that uh, I have already two definitions uh, and there's a um, and I would probably uh, wipe out uh, this one and then use the one I have created. I hope that that gives you uh, some insights into how the mod works. Thank you.